What's up my friends? There's my bike and it's all dressed up and ready to go. I am here in Las Cruces, New Mexico to go on a little bike packing adventure and I'm excited. And unlike a lot of my adventures, I'm not going alone. In fact, I'm going with a lot of people. Squeeze it in, squeeze it in tight guys. All right, stay there, stay there. Stay there. Look at all of these bike packers. What a beautiful sight. Uh, this is a group start on the monumental loop. Uh, we call it the danger bird for some silly reasons that, that don't really mean anything to anybody else. But um, we call it the danger bird and everybody's gonna go out and just ride together. Not a competitive event, nobody's trying to race. Um, we're just out there to connect with each other and with the landscape and, and see what happens. What can we look forward to? Uh, you're going to see five different mountain ranges along the way, um, all sort of tied together with the Rio Grande Valley. What about green chilies and good Mexican food? There's a ton of that, and I recently rerouted the route to put less sand, less difficult hiking, and more time in the Rio Grande Valley eating burritos and chili rellenos and all the stuff that's, that makes this place so special. So. Yeah. All right, it's not every day I get to lean my bike up next to a palm tree. So I have pretty much the same setup as always. I'm bringing my big cans in the back here because we're in the desert and I'm gonna need water. But there it is, the Priority 600X. Of course, we've got our pinion and gates. We got the Ren fork up here. And I love this bike. I'm really excited to get back on it. How we all doing? Whoop, 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 whoop. No flatties, no crashies, no whammies. You know when you get somewhere and you meet people and you just feel good, like you feel like the energy is right? That's how I feel right now. These are some good people here. Yeah! Oh, that's a very precarious burrito. <laughs> you better not hit a big bump, buddy. Ole, 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 ole. These people are like, who is this weirdo? Now we're riding on some really nice, quiet canal roads that are snaking out of the city. We're heading toward these big, beautiful mountains. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So these mountains right in front of me are called the Doña Anas. And it's really beautiful. Kind of reminds me of Baja a little bit. Yeah, buddy! Go get him! It's about midday right now, and that New Mexican wind that I love so much is kicking up. Luckily, it's not really a factor because we change directions constantly. So sometimes headwind, sometimes tailwind, sometimes sidewind. But uh, I'm just really, I'm enjoying this a lot. It's just fun to hang out with people and ride bikes. about 25 miles in. We're in the Rio Grande Valley. Nice and flat, chili farms everywhere. Nut farms. It's uh, nice and hot and nice and windy. My goal is to get to Hatch by dinner time because they have the best green chilies in the whole wide world. Come on, you can do it, buddy. 
What a sad tumbleweed. I'll give you a little boost. How's that? Go tumbleweed! These grasshoppers having a grand old time here in the desert. Get it, buddy. Oh boy, we got a big hill here. Big hill. <laughs> Yeah, that got me going, that was hard. <laughs> yeah, maybe this is just better to walk. Nice little slow down. You got this, bud. Yeah, I got it. You got it. So I came over to this beautiful cow tank and I have new friends now. What's up guys? How's it going? How's it going? What's Ryan? your name? My name's Carl Levine. How What's you up? Doing, What's your name? I'm Bobby. I'm from Albuquerque. Yeah. Okay, right on man. Yeah. So you're proud of your state. Oh hell yeah, of course. Yeah. Right, on, of course. right on, right on. Where are you from? Albuquerque also. Albuquerque also. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Yeah. Uh, what are you thinking so far of the route? It's been, uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little beat up. I expected to get a little further today and uh, yeah, you know. Uh, honest assessment, Carl. Uh, I, so, yeah, I'm having some uh, some honest assessments, you know. <laughs> Gratitude checks as well, you know. You gotta, you gotta appreciate that you're out here having fun and all these people uh, rode this route a hundred different times and put it together to, to make it so that we can come out here and enjoy it. And uh, it's all pieced together very nicely, you know. All right, I'm gonna get some water. Out of this cattle tank. Whoa, this is a little precarious. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> look at that. Got it. Dude, look at, look at that water. water. Look at that water. Water is life. All right, so I can't just take that water and drink it because, you know, it's probably really dirty. So I'm going to zap it with my UV thing. Da, 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 da. And there's definitely some water bugs in there. I don't think you can see them, but little black bugs are swimming around. So this is not vegetarian water. I'm, I'm about to murder some insects. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Don't want those in your teeth. Got a pretty strong headwind as we head into hatch. But that's okay, I have these three dudes in front of me blocking the wind. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I'm so excited to eat some warm food. Hopefully a burrito of some sort with green chili. Look at that guy. What's up, buddy? I'm riding by all these restaurants and they're all closed. <laughs> no! There might not be any burritos, but there's certainly an epic sunset. Look at that. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. 
So I found the only restaurant open. It's kind of a food truck. And I went to the menu and the guys just started speaking Spanish to me. And these guys right here are from Honduras y Guatemala. <laughs> Amigos, como estamos? Guatemala bien. <laughs> Mira la comida que me hiciste. Wow, así es. <laughs> Ustedes son mis héroes. Ustedes dos. Oh, I don't get to meet Central Americans very often, especially not Hondurans. Whenever I meet a Honduran, because I lived there for two years, I get very excited. And they, they say I can camp out back, out back, right? Yeah, yeah, Yay, yeah. thank you. And you know, this is the thing. Something always works out. It always works out. That's how it works. Oh, wow, who is this? Kid. Is that your little kitty? Yep. So they just asked me something really cute. They said, where are your pajamas, right? Yeah. <laughs> I never really thought about that. You know, kids always go to bed in pajamas and I don't have anything cool. I don't have T-Rex pajamas or SpongeBob or anything. I need to work on that. All right, I'm in my tent behind the food truck and I am cozy and I'm happy. I love situations like this. And I always feel really comfortable around Mexican people. This place is owned by Mexicans and they've got some Central American chefs in there. and. Uh, it's just fun, I love it. And today was a great day, you know, but I will admit I am tired. It was hard, that wind just kind of wore me out. There was some times with tailwind, but mostly it was headwind. That's how it always goes, right? But uh, yeah, just taking off today with everybody and the emotion and the energy was so exciting. It just, you know, I've been a part of that energy in running races, but never in a bike event. I've never really done bike races and this isn't a race, but you know what I mean. Um, made it about uh, 70 miles today, and that's right on pace for finishing this in four days, which I have to do because I fly out on the fifth day. <laughs> so, you know, I gotta keep moving, hustling, but, you know, enjoy it. And uh, New Mexico will always have a special place in my heart. It is so stunningly beautiful here, and um, the people are really cool. So, I'm gonna sleep here on the side of the road and uh, be very grateful for that. That's where I slept, right there. And I have a deluxe bathroom right next to me. This was actually really handy and it didn't smell bad. Here we go, breakfast of campeones, champions. Add some chilies to the situation here. Oh yeah. There it is, the famous Duzerito. Never gets old. I can eat beans all day long, pretty much. Thank you, Pepe's parking lot, for a beautiful place to sleep last night. <sighs> that way. Here comes the sun. Do, do, do. All right. And today, the goal is to get to back to Las Cruces and finish this northern loop. And it's about 65-ish miles away. I'm really thankful to that family back there who let me stay at their place because otherwise I probably would have been sleeping in this ditch right there. This is a Baja Divide style road here. Sandy, rocky, bumpy, going about five miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. Man, this is rough. <laughs> this is tricky riding. You really have to look ahead and scan what's coming and try to find the route of least resistance. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. There it is, the monumental loop. I know I'm going the right way. Now I just need to go through this fence. I'm starting to see signs of riders. Somebody dropped their gummy bears. Should I eat it? Of course, five second rule or 12 hour rule. Mmm. Thank you whoever dropped this gummy bear.
I found some humans. What's up, brother? Hey. How you doing? Doing great. How was riding that in the night? It was pretty epic with this group here, man. They, we got each other here with uh, just like a few minutes before midnight, yeah. Wow, that's impressive. Awesome. Nothing like a little bit of early morning cow trough water. Cow water. Cow water. This thing. Really, what kind of road is this? <laughs> you. This is. This is fun. <sighs> Woo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there they go up this hill. That way, then up, 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 up. Big stuff. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Ooh. Yeah! Awesome. Woo! It's hard to get to, into any type of a rhythm because you just bounce off rocks the whole time. Come on, buddy. I'm good. You know what? I'm good. <sighs> wow. All right. We're so close, Dustin. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Ah. Right on, brother. Way to go. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Nice job, hombre. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so that's the road we went down just now. Okay, so it seems like we're out of the super duper rocky stuff. Now we're just in the super rocky stuff, not duper. How we doing, Dustin? Doing awesome, man. Doing awesome. Well, what'd you just check here? We've done about 5.8 miles in way too long time. <laughs> what, like two hours or something? Something like, yeah, I think it was about two hours. Uh. <laughs> Right, all about it. Woo! God, it's a 
everybody. <laughs> What's up? How's it going? So what do you have here for okay, us? Okay, so at the uh, the Manor in the Desert, our new pop-up restaurant, going live next week now. So we got soda pop, we got water, we have chips, we have cookies. We're all sold out of the uh, steak tartare. <laughs> oh, it's an emotional support puppy. Right, yeah. Hey. Scott just said he wants to do an ole. Ole, 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 ole. What a nice family. Yeah, boys. Woo. Back to town. Back in the sand, back in the sand. I love sand, it's so fun. Got some nice downhill into Las Cruces. Here we are in the Plaza in Mesilla. Really beautiful little spot. Feels like I'm in Mexico. Dustin, are we almost there? I'm tired. Are we almost there? Are we almost there? We need water <laughs> and brownies. And brownies, for Thank sure. You. Thank you so much, Dustin and Katie, for inviting us into your house and making yummy spaghetti. We promise not to stink up your house too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bike. Let's do this. Oh, you guys ready? We're ready. No flatties, no crashies, no whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Big money, big money, no whammies. Yeah. It's nice and cool and crisp this morning, but it's gonna go up to about 85, which is perfect for me. And uh, yeah, two more days on the road. Buenos dias, amigos! Buenos dias! Buenos dias! So we're heading up that way. We're gonna be riding some single track up in these mountains somewhere. And that makes me happy. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. You know, there's sometimes when I'm on these adventures, day after day, grinding, when I wake up, like today, and I'm like, whew, I'm tired. Everything's tired. My legs, <laughs> my body, my mind a little bit. And I get a little overwhelmed thinking, man, am I gonna be able to do this? And then, you know, I start riding and I get into an area like this, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm okay. 
I am gonna be okay. Lots of these sandy washes, up and out, in and out of a lot of these. It's pretty much impossible to avoid these thorny bushes. Ow! <laughs> You're gonna get bloody, that's just part of it. Little souvenir from the desert. Hey buddy, what are you doing laying there? Get up! It's time to go. Look at all this fun we have in front of us. Yeah, yeah boy! So many plants that want to make me bleed. <laughs> this one right here is the worst of the worst. This is the Ocotillo. And you run into one of these guys, it's just like hitting a razor blade. <laughs> Man, and they're getting mighty close to the trail. They're grabbing at us. I need to wear armor next time. Let's high five for that single track. Heck yeah. Yeah, that was amazing. It really was. That was, <laughs> that awesome. was so much fun. All right, we just rolled into the city town of Valo. And there's our taco truck. Tacos El Torito. Bean burrito. <laughs> Fueled by beans, always. Frijoles, me encanta. I've said it a million times, but food always tastes better after you pedal for a long time. <laughs> it tastes so good. <laughs> Are you looking for leftover beans cute little cat huh is that what you're looking for every taco truck needs a taco cat thank you so much for the bean burritos you're wonderful oh man i'm a new person after all those beans <sighs> it's amazing what some calories will do for your your body physically but also mentally makes you feel so good so those guys are heading to a gas station to poop I don't want to wait for that, so I'm going to keep riding. I'll see him down the road at some point. You know what I'm thinking about as I ride this flat and slightly washboardy road is that, you know, Matt, the founder of the route, developed this like a handful of years ago. And now hundreds, maybe thousands, definitely in the future, thousands of people are gonna come ride this and have the time of their lives, but also expose bike packing and bike culture to all these small towns. And 
give these small towns a lot of business, which is really cool. Check it out. You know what this is? Cotton. Can you believe it? Growing up, you know, you learn about cotton plantations like in Mississippi and like the deep south. You don't think of New Mexico, but here it is. When you touch it, it's definitely cottony. So soft. Look at that. Very cool. All right, I am now in the town of Vinton. I just got a nice cold Sprite. It's so nice. I think it's like 87 degrees today. And on the map it says that this town is kind of the last place to get food and water for the next 90 miles. There might be some cattle tanks out there uh, to get some water, but this is the last sure shot. So I'm, I just filled up all my water bottles, got my cold drink, and I'm gonna keep on moving. Thank you, Family Dollar. Oh look, sand, my favorite. <laughs> Not gonna be moving as fast in this stuff. You know, there's something strange and beautiful about being in the middle of nowhere. It's a good place to get lost in your mind and just think about anything. It's fun, like it's limitless. You just sit here, you have all the time in the world to think about stuff. I do my best thinking on the seat of a bike, that is for sure. Check this out, so on the the route notes on Ride with GPS, they tell you a little bit about this place. This is called the Kilbourne Hole, and they say uh, it was a testing site for the Apollo missions. How cool is that? Space people have trained here, I guess because it looks like space, looks like another planet out here. Here's a look at my house. I've got my quilt, sleeping pad, charging station, and most importantly, view of the mountains. Sunset is coming soon. Yep, I'm happy that I stopped here. I even have a drying rack for my chamois. Goodbye, sun. Thank you for another beautiful day. It was a good one. Thank you, New Mexico. Oh, this will be my last night out on the Monumental Loop. It's been an amazing adventure. I've really, really, really enjoyed all aspects of this ride. Way off in the distance there, you can see the mountains where we were biking this morning. We are far away from that now. We're next to a crater. A big hole. Here's what my legs look like after the thrashing today. <laughs> lots of, uh, lots of little pokies, lots of little blood marks. You know, one of the many things that I love about the desert is the silence. It is so quiet out here right now.
Haven't slept much, it's been a little windy. It's about five in the morning and I'm gonna try to get going because the National Weather Service has issued a wind advisory, very strong gusts. So I'm gonna try to ride before it gets way too gnarly and uh, I'm up so why not go right now, yay. There's also quite a bit of moonlight so that should help guide me. It's pretty bright outside. Thank you, beautiful piece of flat ground right next to this crater you can't really see right now. Sure, I'm glad my Wahoo works in the dark because you can't see a whole lot that way. All right, so far so good. It's definitely windy. But it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I'm riding to the moonlight with the stars as my guide. Oh, it's definitely windy. Oh boy. And it's supposed to get way windier. That's why I'm out here early to try to get some of these miles in while it's not crazy windy. Just a little bit. Okay, I haven't gone very far. Mainly because of sand, not so much because of wind. There's really deep sand, and it's hard to navigate sand in the dark. <laughs> I don't know if I could navigate it in the light either. Whoa, there's a tree right there. Talk about navigating. Ugh. Ooh. It's a beautiful time to be riding a bike. Bike. I know we woke up early, but get up. I know you're tired. <laughs> get up, bike. Let's go. All right. So the sun is on its way. It's funny, it was really windy at like five in the morning, but right now it's completely still. I need to keep moving and hopefully it's not as severe as they're saying. All right, I've been riding for two hours. I've only gone nine miles. <laughs> Gives you an idea of how fast I'm not going. And it's time for a Pro Meal bar. Not sponsored by Pro Meal, but I just love these things. It's just a big chunk of calories and some chocolate chips. So I'm riding by this farm and I see somebody walking in the field. I think it's a farmer. Nope. It's Aaron. What's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, good did morning. You, did you have a good night? I did. Did you? Yeah, man. Good. Yeah, you sleep well? Yeah, yep. No snakes, no <laughs> creepy crawlies. Buenos dias, Kyle. Buenos dias. How you doing, buddy? Doing good. Danger Bird, day four. Yes, sir. I'd like to think that it's the final day. <laughs> <laughs> it better um, be. <laughs> yeah, slept here. The ground was soft. Yeah, look at that nice soft sand you found. I know. It, it, well, we found plenty of it walking through it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so we've come to a fork in the road. The true route takes us all the way around this train track, 15 miles, but it does say in the ride with GPS notes that you can go across if you can find this magical gate and be careful because trains can kill you. So I'm thinking we should cut off 15 miles. What about you guys? Yeah. yeah. This maneuver is saving us 15 miles and I'm cool with it. Thank you, Gate Master. Yeah. You shall pass. <laughs> dun, dun. All right, we did it. I feel like we just got a cheat code in a video game. So I wanna give you an idea of what we just cut off. So the route goes all the way left, over, back, boom. But uh, we went straight across right here. Way easier. There it is, the finish line, 15 miles away. And burritos, beans, something like that is calling my name. And here we are, right back where we started on Saturday. Today is Tuesday. Thank you, Danger Bird, Monumental Loop, Matt, Pablo, everybody involved, this is awesome. This route had it all. It was challenging, it was interesting, it was beautiful, made lots of new friends, got to ride with people, got to sleep under the stars. This was a winner for sure. I'm so glad I made the effort to come on down here and, and do this. And I'm really impressed with what Matt and Pablo have created and like I said on Saturday, the energy of the group really just stayed with me the whole, the whole time. It was really fun to be part of this because a lot of times bikepacking is a, it's a solitary sport. At least it is for me. A lot, I just go off on my own and do my thing and sometimes I'm with one or two people, but it was really unique to be part of like a thing. And even though we weren't all together all the time, it was fun just knowing that on this entire route, there were about a hundred and or so people scattered around and we were all connected by this little, you know, blue line, the monumental loop. And it was monumental. And you know what I'm really happy about as well? The heat, it's warm. I feel like I got some bonus summertime. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this series. Please like and subscribe and tell all your weird friends about my channel. That's the best way to have my channel grow is just word of, word of mouth. And I like weird subscribers. I like weird people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bam. Yeah. High five it up. Bam. Yes. Okay. Beans. Time for beans. Oh yeah, there we go. Good work, hombres. <laughs> so ready for this. <laughs>